Come join our family on a road trip as we travel from Alabama to Oklahoma. Josh, myself, Azure, and our dog Chico, taking our time on the back roads. All right, we're finally going on our road trip. First stop, Memphis, Tennessee. We've got gas, we've got our car loaded up. We're ready to go, all right? Well, we're making a quick pit stop. Had to go to the bathroom in the Dollar General here in Dora, Alabama. If you like this kind of content, be sure to hit the like button. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. That way you can keep up with everything that we're creating. Now back to the video. Look at the bridge over there to your left, Azure. It looks yeah. a lot older than this one. Yeah, we got the silver bridge that we're on and then the brown bridge over brown, there. Brown, rusty bridge. And there's a, should be in Tennessee now. Yeah. Downtown Memphis. This is our Airbnb that we stayed in in Midtown Memphis. Because we're traveling with a small child and a dog, we have a list of considerations when it comes to where we stay at night and why. It's really important that we get a good night's sleep as we have multiple days of travel ahead. So getting as close to Azure's bedtime routine as possible is always the goal, if you know you know. So this Airbnb had a bathtub and we were grateful for that. Also, notice the coffee pot. The morning routine is just as important for us parents. So make sure you're considering that when you're trying to find a place for your family. I also just love all of the details and the little touches of this place. Looking for places that are pet friendly can limit the options that we have, but this place had access to a yard. <laughs> it was just the perfect way to end the day. We were getting to see the seasons change as the fall colors were coming in, and I think the boys really appreciated being able to get their wiggles out. Now it's time to go back inside and start our bedtime routine. I'm just out walking Chico. Um, through the neighborhood while Azure goes down, goes to sleep. And uh, I'm pretty excited. I'm going to meet somebody from the internet. So <clears throat> hopefully they are who I think they are, which I think they are. Um, I've known this person for about a year and they've actually bought some of my artwork and we've been um, good uh, internet buddies for the past year. Um, dude named Algo Photos. Or actually, it's photos.algo now. Photos with an F, not a PH. Um, but yeah, he's a cool dude. And uh, we're gonna go get some barbecue at a place called Central Barbecue, which is right around the corner. We're in we're in Midtown Memphis right now. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I think it's gonna be really, really good. We ended up getting tacos because the barbecue place was closed, but they were really good. And so was the time with Josh's friend and his wife. We're getting ready to leave our first Airbnb, the one in Memphis. That's where we stayed, number two right there. And we got to see my friend last night and that was fun. Him and his wife were great people. We hung out, we had tacos. Um, and so, yeah, tonight we're staying in a KOA cabin. It's gonna be, it's gonna be nice. <laughs> no bathroom, here we go. We didn't have a lot of time to explore Memphis as this day we had a lot of travel. So we soaked up all these super cute nature moments that Memphis was giving us as we were leaving our Airbnb, and we made a plan to do something that we really enjoy doing, and that is taking a road less traveled. We chose to go through parts of Memphis that were more historic neighborhoods so we could see the architecture of the houses and some historical markers. We listened to Albert King and we said goodbye to Memphis as we got back on the road in Arkansas. Everybody knows about Dairy Queen, but have you ever seen Dairy King? We are here in a random place in Arkansas, and here it is, the Dairy King. We made it well throughout half of the day of travel before we decided we just had to get off of the highway. So we did, and we found ourselves in a genuine gem of a town called Pottsville. We had no idea what to expect. And it wasn't a matter of what we found, but who we found. Meeting Mr. Gary and getting a spur of the moment private tour of the museum complex and learning about the history from the person who was personally
personally uncovering it and dedicated his life to the preservation of was one of the most amazing experiences of my life. With too many good things to share, we made a whole separate video with Pottsville, so be sure to stay tuned for that. We made our way into the sunset and we got to our campground in Salisaw. I was a fiend before I became a teen. I melted microphones instead of cones of ice cream. Good morning from Oklahoma. You know you're in Oklahoma when your KOA includes a tornado shelter. It's actually like a beautiful morning. Cabin. Our cabin was pretty bare minimum, no bath or coffee pot to speak of. But what KOA can offer our family while we're traveling is something that you won't get anywhere else. Waking up right next to nature, having access to a playground, being able to explore freely. It's pet friendly, it's budget friendly, and it really works for our family. With a variety of accommodations, clean facilities, and different price points, we always look into KOA if we have the opportunity. Salisaw KOA is right on the border of Oklahoma and Arkansas, so we really didn't have that far to travel on this third day. This really gave us an opportunity to explore some of the smaller cities that we encountered on our journey. All right, we're here in, uh, I think it's pronounced Chicota. Chicota, Oklahoma, the home of Carrie Underwood um, from American Idol. And it's a cute little town. I'm gonna get some coffee and donuts. Chicota Perk looks pretty cute. Um, original taste for perky people. What is this? Okay, this is a brown sugar cinnamon macchiato. <laughs> from? So good. From. Uh, Chicota Park. Chicota Park. Chicota Park. Here we go. Did Try you it. taste it already? I did. It's All got right. a lot of foam on the top, so you got to get a good little sip. Oh, that's delicious. Delicious indeed. Donuts. We got donuts. We got Halloween one for me. Man, that brings back memories. Some strawberry milk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sprinkles and chocolate everywhere. Let's see it. Mm. That was his bite, all right? This is my bite. A daddy bite. <laughs> Another thing that our family really enjoys doing is checking out any of the cemeteries that we have access to from the main roads or highways that we're traveling on. You can learn so much about the people and the surrounding area from the tombstones, the dates, their occupations, and what their loved ones said about them. We're just cruising along, going over our, this Lake, is Lake Eufaula. The rocky shoreline is interesting. Yep, that's what they call it, Eufaula. Uh, you you just, you break your shit. You walk up, along them, you fall up, <laughs> you know. You swim up. You swim up. <laughs> We passed Lake Eufaula and we're making our way to Oklahoma City. We didn't have that much farther to go, but it was getting close to that time of the day when we needed to get out of the car and stretch our legs a little. We got out at Dell City and found Ray Trent Park. And I know I've already said how amazing this trip has been, but this memory. Right here is some nice little Oklahoma nature. I'm about it. It's cool. Look at these forests. They don't have stuff like this in Florida because if it was in Florida, it'd be all palmettos all the way through there. You couldn't even walk in there. We love history, but our family especially treasures nature. We'll go around. Oh my goodness. Another one. 
what I found. Look. It's a twofer. I'm telling you, these are the wildest acorns I've ever seen in my life. Like. Discovering all of the new things about being in Oklahoma nature was so enriching for our family. We spent hours just running around and exploring everything. Before even making it to our final destination, we have made so many memories as a family traveling so far. Like I said, we were just getting started. There's so much more to come.